you Okay, um, so during this video we won't talk about the actual gameplay, we're going to be focusing on the, um, the actual prediction part of the video. So, um, first of all, let's start off with Mercedes. So, what are we going to predict then for Hamilton and Rosberg? So, yeah, hold on, hold on. I think Hamilton first was the activity from second. I think that too. But there's always the chance that one of them could have an issue. Hopefully not Hamilton, you know. Well, we, okay, we can't be really biased and say <laughs> hopefully not Hamilton, hopefully not Rosberg. What I'm just going to say here is that I have a funny feeling that Rosberg, I, I think Rosberg's going to get an issue. I don't think, hopefully not, I hopefully both Mercedes don't actually yeah. have a, so yeah. I feel like, I feel like the both Mercedes are going ah! to, I think both Mercedes are going to actually um, finish, I think they're going to be one and two, I think how is going to be strong, he's going to be quick to come off the head. Well, I think Wolf was going to take up his time a little bit and probably with the chance to do it. Yes. Now, there is a case where Hamilton could possibly slow up Rosberg behind, but I don't, I don't know. That was, I don't know if he'll do it. That was the danger that was in the Yeah, and also, I mean. He may be holding up Rosberg and ruining his race, but he'll also ruin his own race, so... Maybe. Uh, yeah, if he does do that tactic anyway, but... For now, we are definitely predicting a Mercedes 1-2 if everything goes smoothly, in the order that is Hamilton first and Rosberg second place, judging by qualifying and practice. I think, um... I think the two Red Bulls and then the two Rolls, or... I think they're ahead of the Ferrari because the full thing is going to actually use the Ferrari really well at the end of the season. Well, I'll have to disagree with you on that. I think that it's going to be Mercedes 1 2, and then you'll have the Red Bulls and the Ferraris for 3rd, 4th, 5th, and 6th. Then it will be the Force Indias. I don't think they have the pace around here because Ferrari have had good pace around here in in the past and also in Friday practice and qualifying so yeah I think Ferrari and Red Bull will be ahead of Force India and Williams yeah um then after that I think Hack could actually match it here or I don't know but Williams it could be Williams I think it would be Williams and then it'll be um, the half cars, maybe. Well, yeah. Um. I, um, uh, yeah um, I also think the manners could try and get into a point score. They could try, but it'll be. We don't know yet because at the last like three races of this. At the last three races of this, uh, of the season. Um, they've been doing really well. Yeah, but I don't think they'll they'll do it if the race is normal. If something happens yeah, um, to one of the front runners, well, some of the front runners, then they'll definitely have a good chance of doing so um, and clinch yeah. that 10th place back. But it's looking very unlikely, very unlikely that that will actually happen. Because suddenly, Salvo managed to claim ninth place. 10th. And we're like, oh yeah, 10th. No, 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 like, no, no, they've got, they've got two points in the Yeah, so, oh right, okay, sorry, mm. I thought you meant the championship. Yeah. But yeah, um, for my predictions on the bottom half of the field, um, I'm going to say that Force India are definitely going to be the fourth quickest team. Then you'll have McLaren mixing in with Williams um, for fifth and sixth. Um, yeah, I'll do that. I'll do that. And uh, for um, the seventh quickest team, yeah, that's right, the seventh quickest team. Um, it will. <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna say. I'm gonna say it will be. Ooh. 
the Renault and Haas. Now I do think actually Haas will be quicker than Renault, so I'm going to put that um, Haas will be up into the seventh quickest team, and um, then I'll then I'll have probably uh, so Renault the seventh quickest. Then I'll have no I've. Haas as the 7th quickest, Renault as the 8th quickest team, if that makes any sense. And I'll have... And then I'll have the Torossos as the ninth quickest, because they're awful at the moment for some reason around this track. Um, they have issues of their own. Then I'll say... Sal no, I'll say Mana than Salva. I'll say Mana will get one back on Salva but uh, I don't know I might be changing my mind in the next few minutes but yeah what do you think then? Uh, yeah, I'll do with you. I'll do with you. Okay so we predicted the teams and where they'd finish but we haven't really talked about the drivers too much. Um, so Hamilton first, Rosberg second Unless he has an issue, which we we are fearing yeah. that will happen. I think uh, Ricardo uh, is better with the second stick and right in Well, I'm gonna say Ricardo third, Verstappen fourth, Rakkonen no, uh, Vettel then Rakkonen. Okay. I mean, I wish it was the other way around, but that's never going to be the, the case, because this Which track... Season season will. Well, yeah, hopefully, anyway. But, uh, you know, just to give more of a, an excitement and more of a show, really. But, um... Yeah, so... Judging by the history of results around here, Red Bull have won this race two, three times. Four. Three, yeah. And Lewis Hamilton has won three. here. Four, four. Yeah, Hamilton's won here four times. No, he's won it. He's won it here twice. Yeah, twice. Not, not four. Oh, okay, okay. I know it's the end of the video, yeah, but... <laughs> no, it is four. Yeah, it is four. No, because it's two. two. McLaren, yeah, two. No, no. Wait, wait. Two in McLaren. And then two in, two in Mercedes. No. Yes. No, he won He won in 2011 with McLaren. Then wait, he won wait, wait. Then he won in 2014, and that was it. No, 2012 and uh, 2012 and 11 and 14. No, in 2012 he, he stopped, he retired. <laughs> Wait, no he didn't! That Don't you remember? Know. Oh no, no, he won in 12, uh, sorry, he won in 2010, 2010 or 8. No, 2010, oh you have no idea, do you? <sighs> I think I'm an idea. Well, no, you don't, because in 2010, Vettel won the race and he won the championship. Yeah, off you go, research it. Okay, this has turned into more of a historical corner F1 video, not the actual predictions. I'm going with the bomb, but I'm not even good. I'm literally just cruising my way around this track. Okay, well, that is the end of today's prediction video, and it's actually been the first, and sadly it's going to be the last of this year. Yeah, but, it's going to be um, the last of this year, but it's going to be plenty more next year, much more next year. What, 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 do, you guys, what do you think we'll do? For next year? Do you want to do more? Yeah, what do you want to do more next year? Well, we'll have another video for that before pre-season testing to see, you know, just how wrong or correct we, we are. But, um, yep, this will be the end of today's video. If it wasn't really clear um, from where we think drivers will finish, you will have that on the screen in a few moments' time. But apart yes, from that... Um, 
Let's wrap uh, up this video. Um, you can let us know in the description below and tell us what do you think for this year. And uh, yeah, but what would you like to finish off this video? Um, yes, so thanks very, very much for watching today's video. Wait, Thank wait, you. Wait, 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 wait. wait. Alright, guys, basically, Bobo is the longest speech ever, okay? Okay, you there you go, Bobo. Yeah, off to you. Uh, yeah, I just want to say thanks for watching this video, and until next time, goodbye. See ya! Hello?